Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you my top 5 um, panfish soft plastics, so that's like, yeah, just random stuff. So, my number one best one would probably have to be these Lunker Hunt Mayflies. They um, work really well in any season, and the color is phenomenal. Um, my second favorite would have to be these tubes. I like the blue and white and silver those ones are always really nice because they sparkle and catch a lot of fish and then my third one will be these they're called um they're bobby garland they're um little like shad imitators is what they are this one is in purple mist that's a very good color it'll catch a lot of crappie bluegill this one's mainly just bluegill this one's crappie and bluegill and then we're going to move on to this other one, Frisky Frog. Um, it's uh, really better for bluegill than crappie, but it'll it'll work for both. And then also, I really like the Chartreuse um, Curly Tail Grubs made by B&M. I like the B&M company because they're 98 cents for 20 and they catch tons of fish. But that was just soft plastics. So... We also, I also, for these, I've made a video about these, but I really like these jigs here. These ones, they catch so many fish. It's crazy. I've already made a video on how you're going to want to make these. They're, it's not hard, and it's fairly inexpensive. Go check out that video. That's the last video I made. It, um, and, yeah. And so, thanks for watching, guys. I know this is a really short video, but you don't have to, I mean, it's not much really to be said. Well, actually, you know what, I'm going to show you how to rig them. Okay, so for all these, you're going to want a little 132nd ounce jig head. Alrighty, so for this, for these um, little frisky frogs is what they're called, you could go on a bigger jig head, but for these... But they're gonna see these. You see those red eyes? You want those up. So you're gonna thread it on like this. And then you're gonna push it on there. So it looks like that. And these little things will just kick in the water. And it's very phenomenal. I love it. Okay, so then you're gonna. These tubes here, you see? They're not hard. There's multiple ways, but this is how I do it. So I take them, and this is the head right here, right there at the tip, that tip. So you're going to just thread it on like this, and just pop it out like that, and push it all the way to the top so it won't come off. And there you go. You got your little crappie tube bait thing. These... Um, Actually, um, I, I didn't say well, actually everything. For the um, Lunka Hunt, you will need a normal hook. Let me find one here. Um, oh, there's one. That will look like this, but yeah. So we'll just go on ahead and do that one real quick. So you're going to open your bait jar. These things, like, they're a little expensive. That's the only downside to them. They work. Um, and you put this under a bobber or fly fish. I don't know how to fly fish. So. And you're just going to take it like this. You're going to just get in the center and thread it on. And then pop it out the other side. And then push it on up to the eye until that. It's not really supposed to be up like that. Kind of messed it up, but you want to go all the way down to that little, to that little area right there. So this is down like that, and this thing just kicks in the water, and it's very, it's a good bait. I like it a lot. Okay. Okay. So then the shad little flicker tail, this one, that that's gonna be almost the same as the other two ones, but it is a little different. So, for this one, you're going to take your jig head, right? Got your jig head. This is the top, the little flat side, not this rounded side, the flat top. You're going to stick that on the top. So, you're going to go.
go on like this. I kind of screwed that up a little bit. It's okay. And you're going to go like that. And then you got that little bait. I like a little bit bigger of a jig head for this. Just so that there's not as much a dangly bit for the fish to grab. Okay. And then last but certainly not least, you got these curly tail grubs. So you're going to... Let's see if I can get these things open, first of all. I'm going to open them on up, right? So, and then you're going to take these, like that. And then you're just going to... It doesn't really matter on these, because it's so weird. I would recommend a bigger jig head than this, but this is all I have on me. And you're just going to thread it on like that, and then you're going to do that. And then you got that. I mean, I, like I said, I would recommend a little bit bigger of a jig head, so probably 1 16th to 1 8th ounce jig head would be better for these. These are more targeted for, uh, uh, like, crappie and stuff. That's why they're a little lower on the list. And then, for the, I'm going to go over the honorable mention. There's only one, I know, but, you know, it's okay. How you rig that is done. You just got to tie it up, and to learn how to do that, like I said, go to my last video I posted. Um, made that yesterday, yeah. And, um, yeah, that's about it for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Thanks for watching. See you later.